Good time zone everyone, I'm Bagatrix, your story playing adventurer, and welcome back to Fairy Tale. There's a panty thief in town, and Urza, Juvia, and Wendy team up to solve the mystery. So get fired up, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your favorite fairy tale arc in the comments below. Arrest the laundry lunatic. What is with these? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one. Wendy! Are you gonna take the request, Wendy? I don't know if you're ready. Mm, I need to get stronger. Mm, I'm not against you taking the request, but I just... A lot's happened. Be careful if you're going to take that request. Yes, I know, but I want to fight. I want to get stronger. Fighting, huh? Uh, I'm talking about the scary old lady that lives in that forest. Scary old lady? Fairy tales medical advisor. Um, oh my goodness, I forgot all about her. Uh huh. Uh, I f what was her name again? Paul, Paula, Paula, you, Paula, Paula, Paula. Hmm. Yusika. Pole Yusika, I think that's what it was. Ish. All right, I'm going to pop in again later sometime. Take it easy, Nedge. Have a good one. Have some fun playing Fall Guys. She's a total misanthrope. If you take too if you make too much noise around there, she'll come out with her broom and chase you away. Really? I hope it'll be okay. Don't worry, she's not a bad person. Great. Another thing to add to our list of worries. Charlotte is fun. Alright, head to the forest. Okay, so we're allowed to have her in party. Which is cool. You're correct, Paula Yusuka. All right. Uh, he was worried it was absolutely just off base there. I do vaguely remember her, though. I almost kind of want to go rewatch all of Fairy Tale, but I don't think I could sit back and rewatch all of it. It's kind of like rewatching all of. Uh, huh? mm. It's kind of rewatching all of, all of One Piece. You know, you just you can't do it all over again. Oh. Is this where that Polyusica lives? And this smell? Maybe we should introduce ourselves. Maybe we shouldn't. Won't she get angry if we bother her? Oh, right, her. Holy crap, now I remember her. I, I just needed a picture to remember who she was. Who's making all that noise? Get out of here. Shoo! I told you. Um, are you Polly Yusika? Hmm, and who are you? Oh, that Mark. Are you a new guild member? Are you oh, wait, a new guild member, eh? Yes, my name's Wendy. And this is my friend, Sharla. Wendy. So, we, oh, I see. So it's you. Huh? Hmm? You know me? Oh, never mind that. Now, what is it? I'm a very busy woman. So if you need something, hurry up and spit it out. Huh? Um, I'll be working nearby, so I just wanted to introduce myself. My, my. Humans aren't the only things disturbing me today, it seems. Those are the monsters from the request. We've come here to take care of them. And we'll be back when we're finished. No, oh, she's so dedicated, right? Wait, uh, so later in Fairy Tale, um. Hmm. The later part of Fairy Tale was a drag. Uh, the later part where they fought like 12 generals or something, it went way too fast. I vaguely remember it. 
Like it, it's it's at this point been so many years that I remember the main parts of the story. But but eh, that's how I kind of feel right now. Oh wow. Heck yeah. I feel like this is cheating. It's not dedication, it's obsession. I mean, everybody has their thing. Some people have that thing more than others. Today's training was a bust, not mentally in it. Well, then take a break, come back to it later, man. I want to see what the brilliant frame looks like. Yusuka. Oh, good work. You've wait, well, things are quieted down thanks to you. But what's a little thing like you doing hunting monsters? I want to become stronger. And I want to be more useful to my guildmates, so I thought I would train more. Right, hold on. Doesn't she become stronger through training with her before the Grand Magic games? And I forget, isn't like Paula Yusuka a dragon of some kind? Or at least connected to those the great dragons. Cause I I remember her hmm. I remember various things throughout the series about her. Your girlfriend has seen it like fifteen times, and I can never compare the amount of dedication because you've only seen it once. Wait, twice. Seen all of Fairy Tale fifteen times? Holy crap, man. She does the Edelus version. Uh, she's the Edelus version of Grandma Wendy's Dragon. Oh. Huh. Interesting. That's interesting. How did she end up here? Uh, don't tell me. I'll see it. I'll see it eventually. Mm -hmm. Is that so? It's very noble of you. Don't push yourself too hard, though. It'll mean more work for me. <laughs> I'll do... I'll make sure... Wait. I'll do my best to make sure I don't need so much healing. Well, if that's it, be on your way. I'm very busy. Hi. Yes, I'll come again sometime. Wendy. You seem to have taken quite the shine to that woman. Huh? Uh, yeah, I suppose I have. For some reason, talking with her makes me feel nostalgic. Oh. Really? It just seems like, I mean, she just seems like a regular mean old lady to me. Anyway, we're all done with our request, so let's go make our report. Um, maybe I'll go see Paula Yusuke again. There we go. It's how you know all this stuff about, because, you know, your girlfriend's seen it so many times and talks about it daily, so you just remember it. Nice. You got to the final two rounds of Fall Guys. Didn't, uh... Didn't first either of them all. Request complete! More bonds. Anybody run to... Oh man, we got more people to talk to. Hold on. Go to Wendy. Wendy! The master spoke highly of you, Wendy. He said that you've been completing your work perfectly. Really? Indeed. The other guild members, um, wait, when other guild members complete requests, they tend to cause some kind of trouble. But not you. I'm proud of you. Um, I think I'd actually be harder for me to cause trouble, but I'm relieved to hear that I'm doing well. You invited me to join the guild, so... I was just... Wait, wait, so if I was doing poorly, it would just look bad on you. Oh? oh? Have you been worrying about that? Oh, there's no need. <laughs> but it's all thanks to you that I... <laughs> the best thing you can do for me is work as hard as you can. That's all you need to make me happy. <gasps> Ursa, I... <laughs> hmm... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. Ah, oh, jeez. It's been... It's been so long. All that stuff, though, with the with the other world and crossing between and everything like that does make it uh, easy for them to just toss people in and out like that. 
Though I don't want to wait. Though I don't want you to end up trying so hard that you mess up some of your other guildmates, May, that you end up causing problems like some of your other guildmates. <sighs> it would just be a void doing damage and breaking things like Natsu always does. <laughs> I don't think I'd be able to even if I tried. She's a dental dragon. Nice. Alright, so... Oh, alright, so that, that covered the both of them. Okay. And that's the story quest. We're gonna get, like, two more quick quests out of the way, and then we'll do that. But first... Right, yours is over there. That's part of the main story quest. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, guild rank. So we are fondly past Twilight Ogre. Fairy Tale. They always seem in such a mess. That Lucy girl in Fairy Tale is pretty cute. I've seen lots of dangerous looking people lately. Even Lamia skills, Jiraiya's power is... Uh, wait, even with the Lama, um, Lamia skill, Jiraiya's power is special. Ooh, man, I remember him. Ah, uh, Quattro Puppy! <laughs> Quattro Cerberus. Alright, so... Alright. Character rank up. Do I have... Oh, wow. <laughs> I have 618 freaking fairy tale things sitting right here, and I haven't been using a single one. Let's let's rank up some a little, shall we? All right, so I needed 400 for that. Um, guarantees a critical hit when attacking while awakened. Intenses follow-up attack damage. Yeah, no wonder some of the fights were hard. Seems like it. I forgot all about that. Unlocks one Lacrima slot. Let me go ahead and do up to that. All right. Fire Dragon Zenith. Always critical rate while awakened. We haven't awakened yet, though. Uh, unlocks one Lacrima slot with heavy armor. So that's cool. Um, Apprentice Wizard. We'll definitely do Urza. <laughs> These little freaking like uh, intro slots. It's it's kind of interesting. Alright, so Titania's Zenith. Attack raises attack and defense by 10% when HP is 30% or lower. Another heavy armors thing as well. Oh, let me also grab Windy. This is super cute. It is it is Berserk Boat, but we haven't unlocked it yet. Extends buffs given by Windy for one extra turn. Nice. Jivy has some of the best rank up animations. Oh, now I gotta see it. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> that's that's beautiful that's beautiful that that is absolutely beautiful all right um so we still got 300. Alternate color costume can be used. Increases uh, rank of damage. So that case, 200. So it takes 100. So we can do 100 for each. Yeah. I can just hear her saying, Grey Summer! Yes. Alright, we got the alternate color. I guess we'll just pick that up. I wonder if it makes them stronger at all, though. 
Let me take a look. Holy crap. Oh, wait, I gave her the extra HP. Didn't I? Didn't I, didn't I, didn't I? I did. I gave her the extra HP. I was about to say, why does she have more HP than Natsu? But that makes sense, actually. Does she get more magic for it? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Eh, we'll just hold on to that. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Does that put any other things on our menu? Nope. We're still good. Let's get out of here. We'll go ahead and grab... Challenge the Beast. We'll go ahead and do this one. Arrest... Wait. Arrest the Laundry Lunatic. People having their laundry stolen, so that's going to be fun. I remember the one arc on the island where um, Merody threatened to kill Grey and Juvia snapped and told her that she could handle this herself as, like, it was a really badass moment. Oh. Oh, man. That it was a good moment. But when Urza told her to kill Grey? Wait, when, when, hold on. You have to restructure that so I get the characters right. But I do remember the moment you told her. Oh, she told Urza that she can handle it herself. Julia's badass when she really wants to be. Reborn Sama, welcome home. It's been a minute. Are you enjoying the game so far? We're, we're going through this story and enjoying it as a as a kind of like a fairy tale fan thing. It's it's not kind of like a straight regular RPG. It's it's kind of like a um, I feel like it's more along the lines of, of Monster Hunter in terms of like, there's a little bit of story here and then there's a whole mess of side stuff that you can do. Then there's a little bit of story here and then there's a whole mess of quests that you can pick off the quest board and, and go to the handler, which is Mirage, you know? So that was cool. But on the whole, it's not fabulous. It's not bad either, so... I have mixed feelings. Stealing laundry from young women is... Uh, wait, stealing luggage from young women for his collection? We'll have to beat some decency into this man. We don't necessarily know the culprit is a man. If Grey wanted mine, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> uh, sorry, Juvia. Grey doesn't care for worn clothes. He's only interested in stripping out of his own... At least Urza knows her guildmates. <sighs> oh, poor Juvia. How can this be? <sighs> this conversation really has taken a turn. <sighs> anyway, we all live at the dorms, so let's go back to Fairy Hills and plan what we're made and plan on what we want to do. Yes. All right. First, let's go back to the dorm for a strategy meeting. Sweet. Yeah, like playing Mira obviously isn't true canon because Mira doesn't have uh take quest and but it's cool that you let you do it. Yep. Mira just kinda sits in the uh the guild hall and and protects home base. Yes. We'll need a decoy if we're going to catch the, the lunatic wait, the laundry lunatic. So I brought along some of my own things. Wait, you wear those? Indeed. <laughs> Why do you seem so proud of that? Um, I brought this. Oh, how wonderful and womanly. You brought something too, Juvia? No, it's your turn, Wendy. Oh, me too. Um. Here. Oh, simple yet elegant for women of culture. Oh, I don't need your comments. All right, let's hang these out. Oh, monsters are coming. All right, so the monsters have been stealing it. Huh? There's monsters everywhere. The monsters have been stealing it. It snatched mine and Juvia's undergarments and ran off. Then it must be the culprit. Let's go after them. But they didn't take Wendy's undergarments. 
That's interesting. Running around and playing as Jael, literally a fugitive running across town, you know, and staring the guards in the face would not be canon. I mean, it's cool that they kind of make amends for the things that they did. And, uh, oh, hold on. And that they, they literally form a team of like three people who want to make sure that the world ends up on a better path than what they maybe were going to take it. Ooh. We saw strange birds fly towards the rest. Right, down to the. Right, that run down bar east of town. I wonder what kind of bird that was. Um, what about you? Eh? Holy cow! There's monsters on top of the cathedral! Alright. Oh, level 15, Fluttershy. Uh-huh. No worries. I find it interesting that the levels um, matter, but for some reason, at the same time, you're still able to take on something that's maybe 10 levels or 5 levels higher than you, you know, and not matter too, too much. Man, I love Jian. He's not a bad guy. He was just manipulated. Agreed. Which kind of sucks for him. Um, we should be able to just go ahead and smack it. Done. Yo, what is this? Pokemon? <laughs> it is It is definitely Pokemon. Did you want to catch her? You want to catch Juvia? I, I dare you to throw a Pokeball at Juvia and see what happens. Do it. Undead wolf. Undead dwarf. <laughs> That's awesome. Welcome to stream, by the way. Alright, so we'll do that one. And then there should be one more bird over here. I'm going to save that special attack. Instead, we are going to up our own attack. If you throw a Pokeball at Mira or Urza, prepare for what comes next. <laughs> oh, man, you're heavy into Final Fantasy um, 10, 14 recently. Really? How have you been enjoying it? I don't really have time to, to spend too much in MMOs these days. It's kind of sad. I wish I did. Mm, we'll just go ahead and keep on using the mid-tier path. And yeah, Pentagram Sword. Oh, I know. I mean, I, I get it. It's just that there's there's a couple things when it comes to MMOs. Um, sure, Final Fantasy XIV has the most story, most, most story I've ever seen in an MMO with a world that continues to be built around it. Uh, unlike, well, 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 it does it, but it does it differently. And it has its lore and stuff like that, but it's not really focused on that as much to a point. Um, Final Fantasy XIV, all the main story quests, there are tons and tons of little things that happen that are related to it. Nice, everybody got a level for that. Lock your muscle lot. Water Cyclone. Nice. But, um, on the whole, when it comes to MMOs these days, especially, like, I, I get bored playing them alone. So, I tend not to play them as much. And then on top of that, I know that Final Fantasy XIV is good for not really having much commitment. But the thing that happens with an MMO is the, the older it gets, like, um, 
The older an MMO gets, the more you run into a certain type of person that plays a particular way. And it like for for instance for WoW, people will will get really pissy if you are not good at doing blank because you are supposed to be whatever or you're supposed to know this or you're supposed to know that. They expect you especially if you're going through some of the newer content to watch videos that people play or that people have have gone through for for raids and stuff. It's it's really kind of rough. And then on top of that, now this is not just related to WoW, but on MMOs on the whole, if you play an MMO and you have MMOs the way that they are run now, where they're all dungeon-based and instance-based, you run into people who know how to do the instance and they're just grinding it out for the experience. And so because they're just there for the experience, they don't really care if their party is with them. So they'll go... 25 million miles per hour through each dungeon pull a million things and, and where was the fun in taking your time and having going through and all that it no 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 it still exists in final fantasy 14 uh especially when you're still going through the lower level stuff because i was i i have like all my characters all my classes below level 60 or at level 60 and when you're still at that point they're they're pulling everything through the dungeon if you have a very experienced tank because that is what they're expected to do and that is the new norm when it comes to instance running in mmos and i hate it with a passion and so whenever i get into those like the more i start to do it it just kind of like i i go do one dungeon i go through another one and i'm just like unless i'm the tank i don't really want to play because I don't want to run through a dungeon at light speed. I want to take my time and enjoy the encounters. Because maybe I haven't done this a million times. And even if I have done it a million times, I still want to run it at the level that anybody can join in at. And not feel like you, you have to know that, oh, we're going to be running from point A up until the middle of the map. And then we're going to pull, like, almost everything. So uh, so don't, don't worry about it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that is a thing that exists in MMOs on, on general. And that's, that's just my own personal thing. People don't mind it. I mind it a great deal, which is why I prefer to play with friends. And it's not something that you have much of a luxury doing much anymore. And that's how it feels with, uh, with to play games like Destiny and others uh, in other genres too. Yeah, yeah. But I, I didn't say MMORPG specifically. I said MMOs. And anything that is instance-based. Like, um, I have a friend, or I have, I have a girlfriend that plays Destiny. And, like, I will go and do things with her every now and then. She's really experienced in it, and I'm not so much. But um, she'll actually wait up for me in dungeons, because I'm, I'm not a super shooty-shooty person. So, it's cool. And I can do that. But, like, when you start playing MMOs and you're going through and doing it the way that everybody does that, yeah, it's like, ugh. That's why I quit WoW Classic. Really? <laughs> yeah, God forbid if you don't know what you're going to do from the get-go. Correct. It's always more fun to play with friends anymore. It's It, it absolutely is. And I, I it's why I'm kind of excited to see what happens when and if it does finally release the uh, the MMO called Pantheon because it's from people who are taking in mind the way that um, EverQuest was built and the way that WoW Classic kind of runs um, so yeah yeah I, I enjoy playing through WoW Classic every now and then but like i haven't gotten to the higher level dungeons and i don't think i know what to do in all of them so maybe we'll see <sighs> there are guilds of final fantasy and community feels hella nice and social mm. not disagreeing with you again not not disagreeing with you but it's it's one of those things where i don't know i don't really want to try to oh I don't really want to 
I no, I guess it's I miss the days where where building a reputation online meant something in an MMO. Do you know what I mean? Um where where if you logged on, you would you would instantaneously have people messaging you via private message whisper whatever asking you to join their adventure join their group join their party come come explore this area with us come go into this dungeon with us because that was that was a thing instead of the the robotic feel of beep boop bop bop q for instance dungeon beep boop bop bop randos incoming mm, running light speed <laughs> That's, it's my own personal preference, you know? I love Overwatch and I play it a lot too, and I always try to be more positive when the newer players and friends, the community is very toxic and difficult. That's anything competitive, anything competitive these days. Seriously. <laughs> oh man, you know, most people go with Sonic style, that, exactly. Gotta go fast. It's interesting, no, it's not interesting for me. Uh, I get what you mean, but there's still, Still is an extent in Final Fantasy and also in WoW Classic. Yeah, not not disagreeing with you at all. Uh, Apex is not really toxic though, unless you have a really try hard, uh, try hard French dudes. Why 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 French dudes that scream? Uh, aw. Why 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 is it the French dudes? Hi. Wait, wait. There's a nest here. And my clothes are in it. Ooh. Oh, let's see. Mine are here as well. Most of the victim's clothes should be here. <gasps> Everything's all fancy and showy. There's all... Wait. There are spoons and coins, too. They must have been collecting shiny things. So that's why mine weren't stolen. Wendy. Oh, what's wrong, Wendy? Huh? I don't know. Nothing. Nothing at all. Oh. All right, the clothes are back safe and sound. Time to report back. Sweet. Uh, nothing against the French people. You just, you love French, but they're not really, uh, but they're really competitive sometimes. At least the ones that you've met. That's fair. Request complete. If you want to see more videos like this one, hit the thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next adventure.